Illinois' 17th Congressional District has become a political battlefield this election cycle. Before we get to the November general election, candidates need to win their own party's nominations here in Illinois this June. Joining me now to talk about his campaign in Illinois' 17th Congressional District is Jonathan Logeman. Jonathan, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Matt. Good to be here. And you've got quite the unique resume being a part of the Illinois Army National Guard. You've actually had to take some time off the campaign trail to go and train. Can you tell our viewers about that? You know, when I'm called to serve, that's why I signed up for the Illinois Army National Guard. Um, and that's, you know, that's part of my commitment to service. And I think what makes me a, a strong candidate, because, you know, whenever I'm uh, called to serve, whether it be in the Illinois Army National Guard or, um, you know, serving serving our communities, I'm there. Then and, and the people know that I'm there to to help out and to, and to serve as well. So, you know, it's it's happened in the in the classroom before. I've been at, I've uh, had to be removed from the classroom for um, some training and, and some missions here with the Illinois Army National Guard, um, and that's just part of you know who I am and my commitment to the state of Illinois, to the Illinois Army National Guard and, and the communities which we serve. And this experience has encouraged you to emphasize support for veterans. Your website says you want to fully fund the VA and ensure veterans get all the care they need. Can you speak to that for a minute? I'll give you a real quick specific example. Currently, I'm a company commander in the, the Illinois Army National Guard, and I see some of the issues uh, that some of my soldiers deal with as far as um, you know getting their own benefits um, and we need to make sure that we can fund some of those some of those benefits and mechanisms to uh, to take care and support our soldiers um, you know because every soldier's taken that oath to defend state and country and we need to make sure that as a state and as a country that we are there for for our service members whether they're soldiers airmen um, marines sailors uh, we've got to do better to make sure that we support um, our service members. And that includes, you know, we've been at war for the last 20 years in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, and, and even, you know, taking care of, you know, a lot of our service members that have uh, been to Vietnam. As, you know, those uh, service members get older, we've got to make sure um, that we are taking care of them after the, the deep commitment that they gave to their country. Country needs to be committed to them. And your training in the Army National Guard also has you focusing on pandemic preparedness. What would you do if elected to Congress to ensure the U.S. is prepared for any other global health challenges? Yeah, I think, again, it, it comes back to uh, funding and, and making sure that we support a lot of these programs, uh, preparedness programs. Programs too. I mean, we talk about that within the city of Rockford too. Um, natural disasters and those other catastrophes um, here in Rockford, and, and I'm sure the same is done in uh, the city of Peoria as well. Um, to make sure that we've got adequate responses, um, you know, to future pandemics or catastrophes. Um, and so even that comes in with the, uh, the Illinois Army National Guard too and some of the training. So I think it comes back to, um, you know, making sure that we're not gutting these very important programs because we see that when they are gutted and when we need them, if government isn't there to, to um, help support uh, our livelihoods and keep us safe, um, you know, we've, that, there are some big problems that we've got to fix. And I think uh, COVID-19 has exposed that. And we will share this whole interview on our website. That is CIProud.com.